GRE, Generic Routing Encapsulation. GRE is a Cisco proprietary VPN. It's a tunneling system. So it allows two sites to communicate information back and forth over a public internet connection. So GRE, because it's generic, allows any type of any protocol data. So it could be an IPv4 packet, could be IPv6, could be Apple Talk, which is what the Macintosh operating system uses, could be IPX, which is what a Nobel system would use. So the fact that it's generic allows for any type of, of protocol packet to be sent back and forth. GRE, however, is not a secure VPN, so it encapsulates data, but it doesn't have the security built in. However, it still provides private communication over a public internet connection. So the internet connection itself, um, so here we've got router R1 and router R2 connected through an internet connection. It might be a DSL connection, maybe something through your phone company, or it could be a cable connection. Doesn't matter, it's a public internet connection. But we make a private tunnel through the GRE tunneling system. So the IP addresses sometimes get a little bit confusing, so that's what I wanted to show you here. So we've got router R1 here. The actual router interface IP address is 209.165.201.1. But from the perspective of R1, because we've created a GRE tunnel, we give the illusion that the IP interface of the router is actually 192.168.21, which is really the beginning of the tunnel. But if you look over here, which I know is hard to see, um, when you look over here, at the show interface tunnel zero output. It says that the internet address is 192.168.21. Well, that internet address is really the entry into the tunnel itself. It says down here, tunnel source. So that's the source address. And it's really the source address of the router. The tunnel source is right here, that S000 interface of R1. Tunnel source 209.165.201.1. That's this address here. So the tunnel destination then, from the perspective of R1, is going to be this IP address here, R2's interface. So 209.165.201.2 is going to be the tunnel destination. So really, when you do the show interface tunnel, the IP addresses that it's talking about for the tunnel source and the tunnel destination are really the IP addresses of the routers themselves, the, the host addresses of the, the interface of the router that's using the tunneling system. So that was all from the perspective of R1. R2 over here will have the opposite perspective. So R2's IP address is gonna be 192.168.22 because that's this side of the tunnel and then the source, the tunnel source address is going to be its own interface. So 209.165.201.2. And then this, the tunnel destination is going to be this interface over here, 209.165.201.1.